Good morning, girl. I'm going to talk to you this morning about the way you look. When I talk about good appearance or good grooming or looking your best, you probably think immediately of clothes or hairstyle or makeup. Well, I realize that those things are especially interesting to you, and they are important, and I am going to talk about them. Please remember that they are just really the trimming, just like the icing on the cake. If the icing is very good, well, that's fine. But if the cake itself isn't good, you'll soon lose interest in the icing. So let's start with the cake and come back to the trimmings later. Basically, good health and intelligent physical care are the foundations of all beauty. Sleep comes next to cleanliness as a beauty base. Not just going to bed if that means sitting up writing letters or listening to music. So snap out that light early enough every night to get eight or nine hours of this most effective beauty treatment. And then there's this business of eating. It worries me to see that so many girls think a balanced diet consists of soda pop and a sandwich or a big gooey sundae. Let's remember what we were taught in home economics about a well-balanced diet. Meat, cheese, eggs or fish, milk, butter, bread, fresh fruits, especially citrus fruits, green and starchy vegetables in proper proportion, and of course some sweets. Beautiful skin, vitality, glossy hair, all the things you want begin with a balanced diet. Then there's exercise, preferably outdoors. Well, a little work is a helpful beauty hint, but so is outdoor play. Try to spend some time every day outdoors, developing the grace that comes from toned up muscles and the complexion that goes with good circulation. Walking upstairs, reaching up to a high shelf, dusting, all can be good body conditioning if you use your muscles to do them vigorously instead of slouching through them. When you face the outside world, be sure you put your best face forward. The basic requirement is a clear, glowing skin. There's no substitute for that. And since the skin is nourished by the bloodstream, the things that you eat and the exercise you take have a lot to do with the way you look. Remember, you can't have good looks without soap and water. There's no substitute for the daily bath as a groundwork for glamour. Brilliant teeth need brushing. Gleaming hair means frequent and thorough shampooing. And keep that air of freshness by using a deodorant regularly. It's a shortcut to social security. The most important thing I can tell you about the care of your skin from the outside is keep it clean. Here's how to do a really thorough job of removing makeup. First, pin your hair well back out of the way. And if you wish, cover it with a hand towel. Start to work with a cold cream. Smooth it on thoroughly all over the face, clear up to the hairline and down under the jaw. Give extra attention to the pocket to the base of the nose and the cleft of the chin. Spread the cream on using little spiral motions always working upward but please not too rough no need to pull or push your face around it's the gentle massage with the cream that gets results now tissue the cream off with long thorough sweeps switch to a clean spot in the tissue after each sweep so that you don't crack the grime right back again at this point lots of girls like to rinse with more cold cream to make sure they've removed every bit of stale makeup you know, in several girls' colleges, they have a course in good grooming for which they give regular college credit. And believe it or not, one full period is devoted to teaching girls how to wash their faces. But you don't need to go to college to learn that. I'd like to give you one hint, though. Don't just slide a washcloth around and call your face clean. Friction is half the battle, and back of your neck and your ears get their share of attention. If an excessively oily skin is your problem, after removing the cream, dab on a good astringent. Or, if yours is a dry skin, finish off with a nice, rich, dry skin cream. Now, if you're off on a date instead of off to bed, makeup comes after cleansing. And I mean after. The first step is a smooth base. For that, you can use either a makeup pat or vanishing cream. If the pat is used, you blend it on over your entire face using a damp sponge or cotton. Apply it sparingly. And while still moist, blend it to super smoothness with your fingertips. If instead of the pat you use vanishing cream, the light touch is equally important. 
Put a little on forehead, cheeks, and chin, and spread it evenly clear up to the hairline. If you use rouge, try putting it on with the tri-dot system. One dot directly under the pupil of the eye, the second on the cheekbone, and the third no lower than the tip of the nose. Now fill in the triangle lightly and blend in carefully until no one can see that the rouge is there. Nothing dates you as much as rouge. Lipstick is your exclamation point. Use it sparingly, but well. Use two strokes to outline the upper lip and one long stroke for the lower. Fill in with up and down strokes so that the lipstick goes with the grain of the skin. Be sure that your lipstick harmonizes with your rouge and your nail polish. After applying your lipstick, blot off the excess with a tissue. Last, your powder. It goes over your makeup, all over your face. Choose the shade carefully. When you find one that blends in with the color of your skin, no lighter, that's your shade. And please avoid the too powdered look. Use a clean puff or fresh piece of cotton and keep it well filled. Press it lightly all over your face, starting at the forehead and working down. Use a loosely folded tissue to brush excess powder away. And before you leave, take a good look at your face. And remember, Lots of people will see you in profile, so be sure that the makeup goes all the way around to the side. Now I know you want me to tell you something about hairstyles. In selecting a hairstyle, remember that your hair is the frame for your face. The ideal facial contour is supposed to be the oval, but some of us have round faces or square faces or long faces. Sometimes I like to shake you girls when you worry so much about being pretty or not being pretty. As though prettiness were a woman's only attraction. If you'd spend just one month doing everything I talked about to make the most of your appearance, you wouldn't need to worry about being pretty. I wish that I could wave a magic wand to show you what the difference would be. Presto, like that. Why, it does work. 